everyone. Welcome to Mary's Place. everyone it's Mary here I'm gonna be making something new even for myself I have actually adjusted some of the recipe um, follow the the ingredients you know don't follow everything that I do here follow the ingredients you'll see you'll see the difference anyway what I'm doing is salt in the water and I used three plantains but I didn't like what it came out like so I suggest you use two plantains I'm always honest I'm trying out a recipe that um, I found online and well you know how that works sometimes you gotta adjust it to your own taste Anyway, I'm unpeeling the plantain. Now, I'm not going to make you watch all of it. Just kind of showing people how to do it. Kind of messed up the way I'm doing it. <laughs> and you just cut it up in little chunks. Uh, you're going to see later on after I cook them and drain them, I mash them with a masher and I'm going to do it with a food processor next time so don't pay attention when I mash it with a food masher. It didn't mash them enough. And I think I would adjust my cooking time to um, a little bit longer with my plantains to where they're almost, you know, mushy. Just put them in the pan. Now I'm going to be making my um, chili con carne. That's going to go in between the plantain noodles. You'll understand at the end. And we're going to start out with one tablespoon. I'm going to add one cup of onion. I'm going to give that a little mix. And don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I know you're going to be hearing this is voice. I'm going to cut up a red bell pepper. I think uh, the red bell peppers are the sweetest and will add really a nice flavor with plantain. When I get plantain, by the way, I get them when they're almost black because they're sweet that way. And you want them sweet for this recipe. So I'm just going to be cutting these up.
get my meat masher. And I'm going to mash this up. As you can see, I uh, drained my plantain. I'm letting them cool. I'm going to mash them a little bit. I want them to cool before I add eggs in them. Of my meat masher. Just remember at this point, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Use a um, food processor if you have one or a blender and cook them plantains till they're really soft. To me, they weren't soft enough. I went by the recipe, but I'm going to do it my way. Boy, it might be a messy with this. You'll notice that it's a more complicated recipe than I normally make, but it's very cheap to make. Make sure you drain that meat before you do this. I'm adding my Chili ready tomatoes. It says on the can, chili ready, and it does have everything you need in it. Take your masher and start mashing it. Or your spoon, wooden spoon, whatever you have. It works. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, a tablespoon. I did not change the chili recipe at all. The chili recipe was perfect, spot on. A few minutes later, I'm cooking the um, juices down. I've added salt. adding black, black pepper. Add as much as you like. As you can see, it is reducing. I'm adding beans, and I'm adding chicken broth, which is the Goya uh, chicken powder with a half a cup of water. And I'm going to let that cook and let it reduce. I want just a little bit of juice left in it when I get done, and I want it to be thicker. You'll see it, do it does get thicker.
I have a very messy cook with this one. Scramble in up two eggs. This is gonna go into the um, plantain mash, which like I said, it would have been better if I used a food processor. So I recommend everybody use one. The chunks made it, the um, noodles way too thick. I did mash it more, but it wasn't enough. This is when I should have put it in the food processor and finished it. But with one, one less plantain. Because these were heavy and they were plantains. I mean, I'm always honest with you guys. I think they were tasteless. Not my recipe, but in the uh, ingredients now that you'll find, I adjusted it. Remember, use a food processor. And in my adjustment, I added sugar and I added salt and pepper. And I think I added something else. It's, it's right now. It would have been so much better. Anyway, I'm going to bake that. It's baked. It was baked on 350 Fahrenheit. And I sliced it like noodle-like. Messed up on my cuts, though, but oh well. You want eight cuts. Let's see, I see that I only had seven. So I cut the thickest one in half. So I'm going to get that out of the way and finish letting my chili get done. It's almost there. Now I'm at the point where I'm going to start layering it. And I had forgotten to uh, pan spray it. So you'll see I adjust that. Will look weird, but it tastes fine. Didn't hurt nothing. big oops. I only put a little sauce on the bottom because I don't want the noodles to burn up. You know, you might want to just slice the, pit, uh, the plantain and fry it up with a little sugar on it. Then use it that way instead of going through all the noodles. I mean, that would be a shortcut. The recipe does call call for noodles, but you know, you don't have to. And I explain here why I did what I did. Nothing pers personal to the uh, creator of this recipe. It, it would have tasted really good if the noodles were thinner and flavorful. hard to explain. It was like eating a undercooked potato. 
That's how you can explain it. With no salt or pepper on it. But I'm just going, going with it here. I wasn't going to waste my video. And I, I'm sure y'all like to hear the honesty. You know, if you just use the plantain, I would take the two eggs and like put it, you know, after the first cheese, I would put it on top of that and then put the noodles on top or the plantain on top of that. But it does call for two eggs in the recipe. Just different ways you can make it. I don't know if y'all noticed, I did add cheese in that plantain before I baked it. I think it was a half a cup. Now I'm adding the rest of my cheese. And I decided last minute to add some pepper, pepper jack. I thought that would be really good with this, spice it up. I actually put it in the oven a second and pulled it out and put the cheese on top. <laughs> but my oven is on 350. And that was supper. Beautiful. It tastes good. Don't get me wrong. Just the noodles need to be adjusted. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my verse at the end. <laughs>